Hello, thank you for checking out this video of my Last Judgment playthrough. We are going to be starting chapter two today. We are starting to see that the bullying at the high school, the murder that we saw at the very beginning of the game at that abandoned building, and Saudi's client Ahara are somehow all connected to each other. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It is definitely a Yakuza game. When you take five to ten things that seem completely separate from one another and then all of a sudden they're all connected. <laughs> and I love that. They always do it so seamlessly though, too. Like, and you never see it coming. Like, you know it's coming, but... It just always feels like wah. <laughs> Ijincho, Yokohama. A harbor town where rotting secrets rarely stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ahara, was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ahara gave the court an ominous revelation that the son he had lost was avenged. Chapter 2, Vicious Cycle Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara, age 53. Senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Saverio High. Toshiro-kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago, if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently, his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehar has maintained his innocence. We've had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length, but it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? The horror flew off the handle or something? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seiryu High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. The chairman mentioned that lawsuit. I'm sure Ihara wasn't thrilled with the vic verdict. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about me? You see any other chairmen around here? I don't know here? how you pull these things <laughs> off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet, so please don't go around talking about it, especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough, and if they find out everyone already knows... They'd show us the door, lock it behind them, and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. He's right. We need to file an appeal in order to show the court our dissatisfaction with the verdict. But if we don't appeal in two weeks, 
The court will assume we have nothing left to argue and process the defendant as charged. If we don't make our move, Ahara will walk out of court with a sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened, even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. So we have a I'm time sorry limit. I'm give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks, and good luck. Yo, what was that about? Sorry, give me one more sec. Good. Saudi sent me that picture of Hiro Mikoshiba. So this is the guy Iharo said would be found dead. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? <laughs> He's like, ooh. <laughs> New info has been added to the case file, harassment at the station, missing teacher's murder. May I help you with something, Yagami-san? You sure can. Only thing is, where to start? I can't reveal what happened to Mikoshiba, but there's no harm in asking general questions about him. Remember how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... This is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? But yes, that's him. I'd like to ask a bit about him, in relation to a separate investigation. What... What is it you need to know? D did something happen to him? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshiba-kun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? I promise. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. <sighs> Very well. Go ahead. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshiba-kun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well. Then suddenly, he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We would had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. It sounds pretty standard for a school chairman. He wouldn't personally deal with any temp staff. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Mikoshiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us. But we've washed our hands of the matter. Well, you say that, yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret? Potentially even out of pocket? Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. I'm not sure I follow. Something must have pushed the chairman towards taking action against the bullying now, of all times. Ah, good point. Did you just see Mochi walk by? No. He, the, my door is closed and he's not in there. In here. Okay, what pushed the chairman towards taking action against the bullying now? Is it... Security footage? Eyewitness smartphone footage. Trace element inspection report. 
Report of the trace elements inspection taken from Akihiro Ahara's hands immediately after his arrest. The trace fibers detected on him match the fibers of the victim's underwear. Um. Um. The f smartphone footage? Could this be what riled you up? But. But this is. This is footage of Akihiro Ihara two months ago, captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, he's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. Uh. The police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here, to prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying, then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. Every time I saw Ihara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. That's my luck. <laughs> that bitch? See? Oh, I told you we should have <laughs> stayed on her good side. How was I supposed to know? Um, so, would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be on lunch. Perfect! I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Could you Sorry, Kaito-san, but I'm fielding this one alone. Tsukumo, you guys can clear out too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. Oh, because he can't tell them about the fact that that guy was found dead. And that Ahara knew about it. All right, Okuda said the faculty room is one floor below his office. Okay, let's go talk to uh, the cutie teacher again. One floor, so right here. I'm sorry, did you need something, sir? Oh, uh, is Sawa-sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Thank you. Hello, world. So this is Sawa-sensei's desk. Mikoshiba was under Sawa-sensei's supervision. Can anything here give me clues about him? Well, we could look at those photos. Hey. Photos of students, but their uniforms aren't from Sadio. Wait, could this be Sawa-sensei herself? So this is Sawa-sensei in her high school days. Hmm. Maybe this helps make her more relatable to the students. There's another photo in the back. Does that kid go here too? I'd like to check it out, but I can't be seen doing that. Look at all the English books she has. I guess I know what subjects she teaches. What the? <laughs> Suspicious. Attendance book for class 2-2. Two, two. That's right, she's their homeroom teacher.
What the? I can't go messing around with her laptop with all these teachers looking. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have gone by now. Yes, well, I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiro Mikashiba. What? Everyone I heard from up Chairman from that. Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this was two months ago. Why do you of all people want to know? Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I, I said that's all. Interrogating someone with nothing to go on isn't very effective. Maybe I should come at this a different way. You know what, let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? Well, you were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying. And Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Miko Shiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. He's not the type to bully, then? I would say no. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Something weird's going on. This isn't consistent with her reaction to Kodasan getting bullied. Four years ago, the court determined this school was not responsible for a bullying-related suicide. You mean Ahara-san's lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo? He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Miko Shiba-kun. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. You should have had the sense to leave long before now. Believe me, once I learn what I need about Miko Shiba-kun, I'm gone. In that case, you've already got everything you need from me. But one last question. You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shiba-kun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? Uh, the kids in the basketball club? Miko Shiba-kun was in that club back when he was a student. Apparently he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club? That includes the gang from before, right? Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. Them again. They keep popping up for some reason. All right. With that, I'll get out of your hair. Appreciate your time, Matt. Uh, Sawa sensei uh, Just a minute! There's a lot Kaitasan, more to this. There? Tell me you're still on campus. They're leaving Why? little hints and clues. You, you need me after all? Man, don't be like that. You enjoy playing teacher's pet with Sawa-sensei? You mean, did I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? She hates my guts at this point. That aside, I did get some interesting intel. And that's where you come in. Huh? What for? I want to find those bullies in the basketball club. Think you can fly the pigeon for me? So I do have a purpose. Ain't that something? All right then. It's drone time. It's drone Thanks. time. I'll start scoping out the gymnasium. All right, to the gymnasium, where the basketball stuff happens. I take it out. I'm okay. Uh, 
Um, okay. Oh, what do you got here? Man. We got snacks at the school. Yakisoba pond? Melon pond? Croquette pond? And milk. We gotta get us some yakisoba pond. And some melon pond. I, this stuff is stuff that I wish I could eat in real life, so I'm just gonna gonna buy it in the game and then where's what's his name from 13 sentinels um uh uh ye, ye, what was his name <laughs> what was his name can't think of it right now girl isn't she yeah that's Kodasan. she was in the basketball club too maybe she knows about mikoshiba This one. I almost got it. Huh? You're Kodasan from class 2 too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I um, have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here in Mikoshiba. <laughs> oh. oh! Really? Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bats. Kaito-san. Can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? Why? You worried? Hey! Why are you still here, asshole? Who the hell are you, anyway? Talking pretty big for taking a cheap shot while my back was turned. You had it coming, shady old fuck! Coda! Hey, you been spilling anything to this guy? I didn't say anything. I'll fill you in. I was asking her about Miko Shiba, a student teacher who disappeared from school not too long ago. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Don't bother trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. You'll die before I tell you shit. You wiped the floor with us yesterday. Only fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. Sure. All good. Eating up more high schoolers? But it's still gonna be pretty one-sided. You're so full of shit. I'm gonna kick your ass! Fighting with snake style. Snake style focuses on swift flowing strikes and counterattacks that works especially well against those carrying weapons. Parry, deflect, attacks from any direction. Oh, it works from any direction. Oh, I didn't know that. Press L1 to deflect, disarm. Grab the enemy and then press circle again while holding them does not work okay we i think we've seen this already but i didn't remember about the any direction thing let's go let's try that again Oh, how did I do that? Okay. Let's keep it Man. What are they 
defeating these high schoolers? You're so strong. I'm trying to do the parry, but not working. There it goes. Boom. Boom. High school murder. Yeah. Got a lot of guts for your age, kid. But come on. You really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go! Just what on earth is going on in here? Hey. Let's roll out. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? Are you even listening? Yes, ma'am. We were just horsing around a bit, right? <laughs> just horsing around is right. <laughs> you really are unbelievable. Why are you attacking defenseless students on their school property? How many times must I tell you to leave our school alone? For what it's worth, the chairman asked me to be here. Oh, good. Let's drag him into this. Well, he dragged me into this. How should this? our chairman explain you to the mob of irate parents that will be at his door any second now? Don't worry. There's a very good reason we hired these ragtag detectives to spy on and beat up your kids. Not the She's words I'd got use. a point. If I hear anything else about you, anything, I'm going straight to the press. I'm under no obligation to cover for anyone. Oh, and your attire is atrocious. When you show up at a school, at <laughs> least try to look the part. Now go home. Ooh, she does not hold back her punches. You hear all that, Kaito-san? She's got her own snake style. I have a funny style. feeling I'm not wanted here. Can I talk to the chairman real quick? I'm afraid Sava-sensei has made her point clear. Perhaps it's best you take your leave. After all, you've satisfied the bulk of my request. Wait. Okay, how about this? You can hire me on as a teacher. That way, I can stay on campus no problem, right? But you can't teach without a license. You don't happen to have one, do you? No, but I do have a lawyer's badge. How's that for certification? You're a lawyer? Well, that certainly is a respectable position, but it's not exactly a license to educate. Can't we work something out? I'm afraid something isn't specific enough. Also, there is always the off chance that you can serve as an outside consultant. A guidance counselor, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Like a club advisor. Like the basketball Do you happen to have a kung fu club? club? I've kung got a few fu? tricks I could show <laughs> some kids. No, there's nothing of the sort. And on that note, I believe each club already has an advisor assigned. Okay, well, give me a That's list. I'll beat him up. Me again. I say it's time we hightailed it out of here. No use sitting around on our asses, right? Why don't you meet us back here and we'll go? I can't. Not until I find something for sorry, son. Suit yourself. <laughs> don't work too hard now. I need the time to ask around about Mikoshiba. I have to find a way to stay on this campus. Maybe they've got some staff positions that need filling. I think I saw a reception desk near the school entrance. Oh gosh, we're gonna be employed by the school? This is crazy. <laughs> this game is so wild. Um, I actually noticed that it's time for us to take a break. So let's take our first break. Okay, this is uh... Thank you. Very interesting so far. Very good stuff. 
Look for an inn at the school. Oh, yeah, we got to get hired. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, let's keep going then. Maybe we could be a janitor. We've done it before. <laughs> That's a reception desk and there's a custodian. Should I just ask him point blank if they have any opiate openings? Huh? That's one busy bulletin board. Could I find some help wanted ads, ads for the school there? I was gonna tail it towards that item whoops uh -huh. stop right there huh? huh I knew it suspicion confirmed can I help you actually you already have I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to show your face around here again oh I'm sorry but do I pervert oh. is this the girl who caught me yesterday Damn it. Why her? Why now? They always say perpetrators return to the scene of the crime. And you just proved the old adage true, Monsieur Voyer. I mean, like, she called him a pervert, pervert not she's the pervert. No way she saw my face yesterday. Plus, we got the camera back. Okay, take a breath. I should be safe. Monsieur Voyer? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your pervy little upskirt scheme. Seriously, hiding a camera under the stairs and at your age? Shame on you, sir. Yeah, you lost me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, no, you don't. I have irrefutable proof of your crime. Why, the very shoes on your feet. You're wearing the exact same sneakers as the pervert from yesterday. And don't think they'll carry you to safety today. <sighs> She's really going for okay, it. What is happening here? Sorry, but your evidence is my shoes? Everybody here's got shoes, young lady. In fact, I'm probably not the only person with this exact pair. Huh. Your shoe style is merely the icing on the cake. You see, before the pervert arrived yesterday, I had covered the floor around the camera with a clear polymer that shines under black light. Huh? It's an oil-based substance, so it lasts a few days. Your souls are stained with it as we speak. Uh, Maybe we should hire her for our detective work. Which means you came bumbling back to the scene of the crime while wearing the very evidence of your misdeeds. What the? Am I seriously getting busted here by some high school girl? Lamenting your misfortune already? That's what you get for crossing the Mystery Research Club of Serio High. Mystery Research Club. Oh, we could be their now, mentor. You'll follow me to the faculty room, Monsieur. Hey, do oh, you guys wait, need a teacher? Hold on, okay. Advisor. If she's not bluffing, this could turn out really bad. What do I do? Flee, use ex surrender, refute her claim. Uh, <laughs> refute. There's I don't think no any of these I are gonna work. An invisible substance on my shoes. I'll give you that much. But even if I did step in some mystery goop, does that really prove what you're saying? With so many people on campus, any number of them could have walked over that spot. No, only the perpetrator stepped in the coating. I know this because I was there watching your fiasco. And of course, I had the PE teacher who was with me agree to serve as witness. She was too ready for this. Why don't you just give it up already? already got so much writing on this okay we can use ex surrender let's try it wait this is the perfect time to use my new hang on what am i thinking there's gotta be another way oh come on <laughs> come on i wanted to see it all right we're running my ruminate when i can just run there's no escape sir i have even more proof of your crimes uh the camera may be gone, but fortunately, I snapped a photo of it before it got taken away. With that, I determined everything there is to know about your camera, down to the store where you bought it. Turns out it's an online exclusive 
Customized to capture high resolution footage with an inconspicuous design. She's Were good. I to supply this information to the police, they would track down the owner soon enough. After all, the shop would have no choice but to cooperate with the police investigation. Lucan will likely cover his tracks well enough, but I still can't have the police involved. Do I need to spell it out any further? You, monsieur, are ensnared. Therefore, I think it would be wise to do what I say. He's right. It might actually be best not to run. For now. Negotiate. Uh, let's say we have a chat. A chat? Yeah. Now, I can't give out any details, but having the cops on me would be extremely problematic. So, I'd like to resolve this as amicably as possible. Think we can come to terms here? I will agree to one thing only. Hearing the unadulterated truth. And make no mistake, I will not be misled by diversion. Threats, bribes, sob stories, nothing of the sort. She's... terrifying. Great. The one thing she wants is the one thing I can't give her. I have to find a way to negotiate here. I just need her to lose the camera footage. Is there anything I could use as leverage? Figure out how to get out of this. Okay, um... Uh, mm. Oh, observation mode. Look at me. Do I really look like a pervert who'd sneak into a school for dirty pictures? Yes? Well, <laughs> no, actually. Not at first glance. Right? So drop the Monsieur Voyeur. But I would be an utter failure as a mystery connoisseur to fall for such elementary misdirection. Uh, what? No matter where or when the story is told, the perpetrators in mysteries are often those who draw the least suspicion. This trope carries over into the real world as well. So the fact that you don't look like a criminal proves nothing. Oh, she's good. Really? She knows all the tropes. If you think you can pull this mystery fiend, you'd better think again. Mystery fan, huh? Yes, I shouldn't underestimate her. Although this does mean I can reason with her. Come to think of it, I think I saw her putting something up on the bulletin board. A thorough observation of the area might give me a hint in negotiations. I'm focusing. Hey. Oh. The Sadio High Mystery Research Club? Is this their club flyer? So this is what my Inquisitor was posting here. What's it say? Outside Counselor Wanted. The MRC is in jeopardy. Our advisor is leaving Sadio. We've been informed the faculty's too busy to run an additional club. We need an outside counselor. If you know any detectives or mystery... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I'm anticipating some very crazy and amusing shenanigans to come from this. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. <laughs> If you know any detectives or mystery writers, please share their contact info with us ASAP. Kyoko Amasawa, Research Mystery Research Club. That's it. Oh. 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 Club president, Kyoko Amasawa. That must be her name. Seeking outside sponsor ASAP. Oh, this isn't soliciting club members? The MRC is in jeopardy. Our advisor is leaving the school soon. Blah, blah, blah. We, we must turn to outside assistance. If you know anyone who is a, te a detective or a mystery writer, please provide us their contact info as soon as possible. 
some outside assistance, huh? Looks like my detective skills are about to pay off. As a matter of fact, this is exactly the angle I needed. You're Kyoko Amasawa-san, right? President of the Mystery Research Club? So what if I am? I saw your flyer. Sounds like your club's in a tough spot. You're not wrong. Our current advisor got married and quit teaching. Marriage will do that to you. Else to take her spot. On top of that, the chairman's been reluctant to bring in anyone from outside, so the MRC may be in dire straits. But your arrival marks our revival. Should I turn you in as a voyeur, you would make a fine feather in my cap. You would also prove the value of the MRC, so the chairman would have no choice but to solicit an advisor for us. Well, that all sounds fine on paper, but the real-life logistics may not play out that way. You'll need a competent professional in your area of interest. Would you think they have time for volunteer work? When you put it that way, it does seem like a long shot. Right? So here's my proposition. Offer funds or become the advisor. Obviously, we want to become the advisor. How about you make me your advisor? You? Advise the MRC? Why not? A Kamurocho-based detective not good enough? Uh, you're a detective? Oh yeah. I'm Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I was asked to come investigate your school. That's about all I can let slip. <sighs> so then, the hidden camera was for your investigation? I'll let you deduce that yourself. Client confidentiality and all that. But I will say one thing. I'm here to stop shady business, not start it. If he wasn't shooting up skirts, then what was he trying to see? Rather, who was he trying to see? Who put him up to it? Our staff? Ugh, so many variables! <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to interrupt, but hello? <laughs> hello in there! As I was trying to say, Becoming your advisor could work out well for both of us. I'm not done here by a long shot, but one of your teachers is bent on seeing me gone. Really? Who? Sawa-sensei. She thinks I have no business being here, and frankly, it's been hard to prove her wrong. But, if I were to advise your club, it'd be all the reason I need to stay on campus. So what do you think? It's a win-win situation, wouldn't you say? Uh? Uh? Oh, and if it's experience you want, believe me. I've been around the block when it comes to mysteries. I... believe I understand. The purpose you stated for being here does fit the circumstances better than my original theory. But I will not be persuaded so easily. <gasps> She's a so tough sell. I propose a test. Oh, test? Right this way, please. What? Hey! Okay. What has she got for us? Where? What is this creepy closet? Oh god, it actually is a creepy closet. Huh? This is her club? Who's this, sis? This is Yagami-san, our new advisor candidate. However, I intend to test him first. See if he's legitimate. Hmm. <sighs> Fine by me. I'm Kento Amasawa, Kyoko's younger brother. Also the MRC's bodyguard. When your sister's as nosy as mine, you've got to step up your game to keep her safe. Please have a seat, Yagami-san. That's a familiar sounding voice. After you. Oh, how kind of you. So, Amasawa-san, back to the topic at hand here. Is this Somnium Files reunion? Uh, ask about the, the club. Could you tell me what the Mystery Research Club actually 
does? It seems like the advisor ought to know that. <clears throat> so, I founded the Mystery Research Club last year. Primarily, we function as a book club, critiquing mystery novels from many different cultures and eras. But, when the opportunity is ripe, we also engage in more involved activities. And by that, I mean solving the mysteries around us. Oh, you mean go sleuthing, like on a case. So that's what you were up to. I've got to say, as a potential advisor, I'm not exactly psyched to hear you go around looking for trouble. Oh, don't get me wrong. We don't do this for kicks, and I'm not a fan of danger. If we could all be armchair detectives, free to investigate from afar, surely that would be ideal. Yeah, don't I know it. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that is rarely, if ever, possible. Say our investigatory senses were to draw us toward a mystery that escapes even the school and the police. Why, letting such a case slip away would be anathema to our club's founding principles. While I do admire your passion, why put yourself at risk? You'd be safer handing it off to the authorities. Then shouldn't we hand you off to the authorities? Well, no, let's not be hasty. <laughs> I take it you see my point then. Some cases aren't so cut and dry. Just you make like some ours. valid points. Ask about the test. So, getting back to this test of yours. Ah, uh, yes. So, based on what you've told me, I'm inclined to drop your charges altogether. A detective setting up cameras is... believable. That being said... I'd also be a fool to take you at your word. If this is a ruse, I'd be unleashing a pervert on the school. Well, the caution is admirable. Then you shouldn't mind if I test both your skills as a detective and your character as a person. And once that's over, the club will reach a decision. We'll either accept you as our mentor, or turn you in as a deviant. There's a lot on the I line get the here. Picture. So what does this test entail? Actually, We've been dealing with a rather risky case as of late, so your job is to resolve it. How risky are we talking? Ask about the risky case. Well, it's about as risky as it is risque. Yagami-san, have you ever heard of a sugar baby? Huh? You mean a younger girl getting paid to date an older guy? You know it. Now our current case involves one such sugar baby. It seems that one of our dance club girls has grown a reputation for dating older men. Unfortunately, I've yet to pin down exactly who this is. All you know is she's in dance club? Well, I understand why you'd want to know more, but what about this warrant's investigation? Is she in danger? The issue at hand is that she may be doing more than dating, and it's putting her safety at risk. Well, we found this out online, so we're admittedly speculating a bit here. But apparently this girl's pretty infamous for what they call her vanishing act. Hmm. Care to elaborate? She strings the mark along, going on a few dates for an agreed-upon sum, but then she goes in for the kill. She gets a large upfront payment for promising to seal the deal, and then, poof, gone with the wind. That does okay, sound dangerous. Okay, I can see how that might make her enemies, but that's on the guy, isn't it? I mean, he's paying to date an underage girl, and he thinks he has the right to complain? You're not wrong. Problem is, her latest mark, a violent, foul-mouthed thug, isn't so self-aware. I believe rape and murder were his choicest threats. So yeah, we can't just write this one off. Oh, yeah. That's a concern. <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. And now he has his gang roaming the streets, searching high and low for the girl who conned him. I'd say that establishes the risk clearly enough. As soon as we found out, we've been trying to find the sugar baby and warn her ASAP. Yeah, I get it now. If we don't act, she could be in very real danger. I think we're finally seeing eye to eye, Yagami-san. After all, the truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. That's... Not quite how it works, but sure. Begin the test. This seems like a very involved test. In any case, <laughs> now that the situation's clear, I'd like to get on with the test. Just tell me where to start, and I'll be there. 
It is said that the great Sherlock Holmes was able to freely change his appearance into that of a total stranger. From helpless old woman to shifty-eyed vagrant, he deceived the masses and never lost a lead, all thanks to a good disguise. So, you want me to go undercover? Yep. Any detective worth their salt should have no trouble with that. You're going to infiltrate the dance club as an advisor and return with a lead on the sugar baby. That is your test. <laughs> Wait. This is crazy. You want me to teach a dance club? If it's required, then yes. I want you to win their hearts in ways I myself could not. Those girls are a close-knit group. They never trade gossip with someone like me. Don't However, they already have an advisor? If a cool new stranger gained their trust, that's you, they might be more willing to talk. But how am I supposed to be a convincing advisor if I've never danced once in my life? That's okay. It's rare for their advisors to get up and do it themselves. They generally teach from book. Oh, great. If it's any consolation, their current advisor never even shows up. So, you'll already have an mm. Okay. Just give them a few pointers, act authoritative, and soon enough, you'll be their closest confidant. And then we'll get easy what- peasy. We'll get what we want from them, and easy then we'll peasy. just leave them high and dry. Teach something I know nothing about? I'm sure you can figure that out. That is, if you really are a detective, and not some snaky imposter. You're really putting me through the ringer, you know that? I guess I'll have to prevail with the power of vague advice. Good, then let's move. The dance club will be starting their practice any minute. They're in the gym basement, in case you didn't know. I know her test might be tough, Yagami-san, but I think you'd make a pretty rad advisor. So good luck. Huh? Oh. Yep. Um, you're right, Soul Blazer. That voice reminds me of Ota. So that's Zach Aguilar. Shizono, I'd like a word with you. Hey, aren't you... Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club? You betcha. Don't worry, I come bearing good news. Oh great, the MRC. Oh great, you what guys. What do you want with us? We're not up to anything. Calm down, I'm not here to expose your secrets to the world. I only wanted to introduce you to someone. Uh, what are you getting at? To preface this, I noticed your club advisor hasn't been showing up much lately. Yeah, apparently he got really sick. We're lucky if we see him a couple times a month. Right, and it must be rough trying to choreograph an entire routine without him. Wait. Yeah, and we've got a meet coming up soon. Yagami doesn't it's know how so to choreograph dances? I see. Then the stars really did align in your favor. Um, what? Listen, Senpai, I know we might seem desperate, but it's not like we need any favors. Don't worry, you don't owe me for this. I'm offering you a potential advisor as a token of goodwill. A potential advisor? <laughs> Let's not sweat the small stuff. The important thing is, Yakumi-san here said he'd agree to help you with your routine as a stand-in advisor. Help with their routine? When did I ever say that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? This is just what we needed. You know, I could tell you had a certain something about you. So how long have you been a pro dancer? Uh, I'm not. Oh, oh so modest. This is like one of those dream come true moments in a movie. I've been literally racking my brain trying to come up with a workable routine. Oh, I'm so glad that's on you now. Whoa, 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 time out. I'm missing some important qualifications here. Yagami-san, this is your Reichenbach Falls moment. You need to dive headfirst into the challenge. Don't you get it? Uh, no? Um, do you think we can get started? 
We've been practicing and practicing, but something about our choreography feels off. We all know our moves and everybody's got rhythm, so all that should be left is bringing our A game. But it feels like we're still missing something, you know? That wow factor. It's really kind of down to the wire to be figuring this stuff out, but I know we'll push through if we try. Uh-huh. So can I ask for your first impression? Does our routine need more going on, or...? Uh, you know, it's hard to say what's going on at this point. I shouldn't have to say this, but keen observation is elementary for a detective. And? And we need to tell them what you observed. You did have your eyes open, didn't you? So the test has already started. Great. Well, I better start winning over Amasawa. Time to weigh in with my honest opinion. Okay, I see a timer and I immediately do not like this. Certain conversations or events won't unfold without your direct input. Timed selections. Answer within the given time limit to move the conversation along. Choosing to select nothing or remain silent can also be an answer. The speed with which you make your choice will not affect the outcome. Certain conversations or events won't unfold without your direct input. Adjust to determine the intensity of your answer. Your word choice and projected emotion will match the volume. What? Make a bigger impact. Work on your timing. Spice it up. Do something unexpected. Do something unexpected. So the music's not a bad choice, but it'll take more than your average dance mix to stick in the audience's minds. Have you considered traditional Enka? Nobody'd see that coming. <laughs> Enka? Well, it is old school, so dancing to it might be innovative. Um, but we can't just start over with a new song after all the hard work we put in. They have the rhythm, they know their moves, but what they lack is prep time. Nobody asked she you. She told you all that, remember? Besides, It'd be demoralizing to make them reset everything this late in the game. Yeah, demoralizing. That's not what I had in mind. Okay. Um. Work on your timing. They look pretty in sync to me. Spice it up. I don't know. Isn't your routine a little tame? Maybe you could spice it up a bit. Uh, uh, spice it up how, exactly? You mean like we need skimpy outfits? Or like we dance all provocatively? What part of this is a high school? Don't I don't get No. Uh, yeah, sometimes I just say things. Wow, yikes. And how about, <laughs> okay, work on your timing. I think you guys could use a bit more coordination. Something's off about your rhythm. Really? I thought they were all pretty synced up. Uh, yeah, rhythm's actually one of our strong points. Oh, well, you know what then? I think I had something in my eye. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Let me take another look. I picked all the wrong answers. Make a bigger impact. What does that even mean? How is that different from do something unexpected and spice it up? I think your performance could use a little more flair. Flair? How so? Well, you're already in perfect sync, and everyone knows their part. But, how to put it? You were right. It needs something that's gonna leave a lasting impact. I see what you mean. Maybe we are just kinda going through the motions here. If only we could come up with better stuff. Inka! Oh, maybe you could give us some suggestions. Ah. Oh. Suggestions? I don't even know how to dance. But if I don't get through this somehow, it's back to the whole pervert thing. Let's take apart what could give you the edge you need. What if you sang while dancing? What if you threw some kung fu in? Wait, what if you didn't dance at all? What if you did the robot? I think Kung Fu is the answer because that's something that Yagami could actually, like, 
help with. But <laughs> I want to see some of these other options. What if you didn't dance at all? What if you cut the dancing all together? You want us not to dance at a dance contest? Yeah, just stand there and cross your arms. It'd be high art, a real statement. Uh, yeah, in the worst way possible. And even if that did work, <laughs> that girl that's is no judging way to win us. a contest. Each their own, I guess. Well, in that case. <laughs> All right, kung fu. I'm pretty sure this is the Why answer. Why not incorporate kung fu? Uh, did you just say kung fu? Sure did. Throw a few kicks and punches, or knock the competition right out. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. And it's not like martial arts-based dancing is entirely unheard of. But we don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. Luckily... Well, you're in luck. <laughs> kung Fu happens to be a hobby of mine. Oh, no way! That's so cool! Well, it's my own style. You won't find it in any ancient scrolls. It's flashy. <laughs> Perfect! So will you teach us? I guess I'm gonna have to. Sweet! Then let's get a quick demonstration. <laughs> let's see some ass-kicking dance then. <laughs> Wait, really? I really have How to do else this? are you gonna advise of them? How else are we gonna learn? Look up some random videos? We'll get to analyze your moves, your footwork, your breathing. We'll learn from the pro. I wouldn't get your hopes up though. But what if my stuff doesn't fit your routine at all? So you're not gonna help us after all? That's pretty weak. We if you're giving up after stringing them along this far, hang tight while I dial 110. Uh, hold it. Huh? I guess I have no choice. You know what? I think I can wing it well enough. I've never done this before, though, so don't get mad if it's crappy, okay? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna do fantastic. Damn it. Am I really about to do this? <laughs> okay, what we'll do first is show you the opening 30 seconds of our routine until the chorus hits. While you're watching, keep an eye out for the parts that could use some kung fu moves. Sure. Okay. Good plan. Okay, so here's how we start. <laughs> In there. What? Now you take it away. Whoa. I thought they were gonna show God, me. I can top that. Okay. But you know what? May as well try. That's a spirit. Ready for the music? You can play a rhythm game at the dance club. Oh no! Rhythm game! <laughs> okay, before you begin the dance lesson, select one of Yagami's EX solos. This will be selected automatically for the tutorial. Song Let's Dance Easy Costume Normal. Okay. Let's freaking dance. Let's freaking dance. Press the buttons accurately to fill the groove gauge. Once you pass the clear mark, you've nailed the routine. <laughs> Simultaneous notes. This icon indicates simultaneous notes in a routine. Press the two buttons that are connected with the line at the same time. Held notes. Okay, I get it. Oh, great. Press the D-pad while dancing to activate one of Yagami's EX solos. The game leans to your advantage while the EX solo is active. As icons recommending EX solos come streaming down, you are free to activate them at any time. The only EX solo you have in the beginning is freestyle, but you can learn more by reading the dance textbook. It can be acquired over the course of the game or in town. You can assign three kinds of solos, so try out what works best for you. Am I supposed to do anything right here? Oh, I got an S. 
I missed six. I'm confused about the. Did I miss something on this the solo? What? I was supposed to still hit the buttons when the bars go over them. All the buttons? Any button? Which button? Any of them? Ugh. Let me try again. They didn't explain that, did they? That's confusing. Incredible. Oh, oh he's, he's amazing. amazing. That was amazing. amazing. I like it. Wow. Wait, is that kind of never do that? Oh, 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 see it? Oh, oh look at wow. that. Did you see that? Yagami san. Whoa. What was that just now? Amazing. I thought you said you couldn't dance. Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you. <laughs> Winning is part skill and part pulling out of your ass. I don't think a seasoned athlete could pull that off. Yagami-san, that was incredible. You're not just a pro, you're a master. Wow, <laughs> you're giving an amateur way too much credit here. No way an amateur moves like that. You're something else. Maybe you don't realize it, but you have a gift for this. You're totally a born dancer. <laughs> I don't know about all that. What you call a gift, I call muscle memory. Well, whatever you call it, we're gonna use every last bit of it in our routine, if that's okay. <laughs> you seriously saved our necks just now, Yagami-san. Hey, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, if it's okay to ask, could you drop by and give us more pointers sometime? Ever since our advisor stopped showing, we've barely been keeping it together. And we could all use some guidance from someone we can trust. If you guys will have me, then sure. Not sure I have many pointers left. Hmm. Oh, you're the best! I think it's time we headed back now, Yagami-san. Huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> Dang it, let me try again. I didn't so understand did I the assignment. I'd say I made plenty of headway with the dance club. Indeed you have. Honestly, I'm still in shock over how easily you won Nishizono-san over. Every time I try to approach her, she reacts like I'm there to accuse her of something. I wonder why. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> I'm sure the MRC has gained some notoriety. Well, all the more reason we need an amazing advisor who can keep up with us. Did you just call me oh, amazing? I'm amazing now. Does this mean <laughs> I'm no longer a criminal? Yeah, I really should apologize for that at some point. But not now. <laughs> also, I have another theory as to why you installed that camera. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, a higher detective shows up to covertly monitor a specific group of students. Meanwhile, spreading through the news like wildfire is the case of Akihiro Ehara, a man connected to our school. Put those pieces together, and your objective here starts taking shape. She's but real good. I wouldn't want to hamper any important detective work of yours, so for now, I'll let that theory sit. Wow, she really is sharp. I guess she's president of the Mystery Research Club for a good reason. At any rate, Yagami-san, I'll go ahead and let the chairman know of our arrangement. And that is to say, I'll formally request you as our advisor. Well, that'd be great. But do you really think you'll hire me just like that? Sure, so long as you're officially considered an outside guidance counselor. I don't see why not. Also, we do need another faculty member as a supervisor, that's more of a formality than anything. Their only responsibility is signing the paperwork. You'll still be the one running the club. Our school makes you jump through a lot of hoops just to be welcomed as a guest, huh? Yeah, sounds like they won't let in just anybody. That seemed pretty anyway, easy to me. Is there a teacher you had in mind? Yep, no worries there. Sawa the chairman sensei? actually promised to sign off on whoever we chose. Well, I made him promise might be a bit more accurate. What? Really? Man, I wish he told me. He told me the club's already had advisors and left it at that. Typical. I doubt he wants to actually keep his word. After all, if we get into trouble, he'll be directly responsible. He probably thinks the MRC is a big enough liability as it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, with all that said, welcome to the Mystery Research Club. Can't wait to see a real detective in action. Hey, you'll get your chance. And it's a pleasure to be on board. This is wild. <laughs> oh, when you have a spare moment, could you join us in the club room for a talk? 
We were just in I'd there. I'd like your advice on another case we're monitoring. What, you've got something besides the sugar baby? Yes. And this one may actually be even nastier. In fact, the sugar baby may be but a single thread amidst a larger, more sinister web of conspiracy. I'm sure it is. But that's a lot to digest, I know. I'll get you up to speed when you're free. Okay. Not quite sure how to process that right now, but I'll make sure to swing by at some point. About school stories, Amasawa has agreed to let Yagami act as the MRC's advisor. It seems like there's more delinquent activity that meets the than meets the eye at Sadio High School. In order to unveil this activity, Yagami must infiltrate certain club communities within the school. Immerse yourself in various activities at the school, get friendly with the students, raise your leadership, and solve the students' issues. School stories are separate from the main story, so feel free to play these at your leisure. About leadership. Raising Yagami's leadership allows you to access and progress through new school stories. Accomplishing tasks in various stories will grow different facets of Yagami's leadership. If you can't make any headway in one story, you may be able to trigger the next one by pro progressing another story. Try and progress all sorts of stories at the same time. I finally got my in with the school. Now I can ask around about Mikoshiba without getting the boot. Apparently he was tight with the basketball club. Being a former member, that comes as no surprise. Now where do basketball players go after school? To the gym, of course. Oops. This game is just full of interesting surprises so far. <laughs>